Hi, Samantha and Cher. Outreach workers say that the outreach here has been going on for weeks, but today is the final day, and tonight at midnight, this Department of Transportation Plaza will close for cleaning and repairs. Now, new at this hour, we've got to look at the hotel where many of the people living here are being moved, but this cleanup hasn't been without resistance. Despite some opposition, a major effort to clean up this little Tokyo homeless encampment moving forward. This 24 year old packing up to move into a free hotel room offered by homeless services. This whole environment, this whole like atmosphere, it just kind of just does a number on you. But this woman who didn't want to be identified says she's lived in this encampment for years and will stay on the streets. Because the nice hotel room doesn't offer you anything but a nice hotel room until the money runs out. And that's part of the bigger problem, activists here say, with the solutions being offered, like hotel rooms through Project Room Key. They are temporary and have have rules like curfew they say are too restrictive and some of them are carceral and most unhoused community members want dignity when they're wherever they are we're here every single week we see those people that come back out of project room key or back out of the shelters uh, that got kicked out and so we know that these things aren't working the real solution they say is more permanent supportive housing we can't let the perfect get in the way of the good we can't wait for permanent housing to be built in five six years we need to move with a sense of urgency now. Councilman Kevin DeLeon took us on a tour of the Project Room Key at the Grand Hotel, where many from the Little Tokyo encampment are being moved. We have your own clean sheets. He believes it's a huge step forward to get people off the streets and on the path to better options, while officials work on getting more permanent housing. I'm quite sure in which parallel universe, you know, living on the streets, on the sidewalks is, is uh, better than having access to a clean hotel room and to be safe. Back in Little Tokyo, this business owner was jumping for joy over the cleanup. We've had so many different incidents. And this man in the area, once homeless but who accepted help, says he's seen the process work firsthand. After 18 years on the street, here's my key to my apartment. Mm. Lauren, what is next for these people after they are moved into temporary housing? Yeah, well, Sam, city officials tell me that at one point this encampment was 100, and over the course of the outreach, 82 at least have been moved into some kind of temporary housing. What's next? Well, officials say this puts them on the pathway to permanent housing, gets them in the case management system, and as for the project room key, which, yes, is temporary, Kevin DeLeon tells me that it goes until the middle of the year right now, and they are working to get that extended. Now, as for the few remaining people here in the encampment, a city official did tell Tell me that some of the gaps in the system are being exposed when it comes to helping those with serious mental health issues. And we'll have more on that coming up at six o'clock. For now, that's the latest live in Little Tokyo. I'll send it back to you.